Lori is in Kentucky. Lori, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. How can Dr. John and I help? Hi, guys. How are you? It's so good to be talking to you. You too. What's up? Um, thank you. So I've listened to you guys religiously for several months now. Um, my question today is about justifying the cost of going to therapy while wanting to put all of my extra money toward debt in baby step two. Um, so just a little background. I used to go to therapy after my divorce in 2015, but I haven't been in about three years and I think it'd be beneficial to start going again. But, um, you know, my, my insurance has a $30 copay per visit. If I see a psychologist, that's still like an extra 60 to 120 bucks a month, probably, um, that I'd be spending on that instead of paying off my debt. What's your household so income? What advice. Um, I make about 72,000 a year. Okay. And what do you, what do you want to still work on in therapy? Yeah, what do you want to go to counseling for? Sure. So um, I have some lingering issues from the divorce still that I, I see play out in, in my life still today and, and in relationships and um, that are, and anxiety are, are the main two things. What, what are they? Um, trust issues, um, fear of being left um, in a relationship, things like that, because I didn't instigate my divorce. It was my ex that did. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the two main things off the top of my head. So when somebody can can articulate... Here's my challenges. That's, a, that's one of the cornerstones of what counseling does for us, is it helps us rake the yard and helps us move all the soil and the mess out of the way so we can actually get a, get a, a snapshot, a picture of what's going on in our heart and head. You're able just to articulate it for me. So what would a counselor do? And by the way, I'm a huge proponent of going to therapy. What would a counselor do that a close friend that you cultivate relationship with that you're vulnerable with or a mentor from your local church or in your community what, what would they do for you that they wouldn't because you've identified the core issues somebody somebody left you high and dry totally hosed you and now you don't know how to trust them but more importantly you don't want to trust yourself so you articulated that that sets off all of your internal fear alarms which is real your disconnection alarms which is what we've we've decided to turn into a diagnosis and make a medical issue called anxiety right and then you just get anxious for a while and that makes you depressed so you've laid all that out for me what is what is a counselor going to give you that a, a close vulnerable friend won't i think i'm probably looking for like coping mechanisms um so you know when when these uh, issues pop up in my daily life like things that i can do um to uh re you know kind of retrain my brain and things like that so i don't think the way that i think the negativity that i think um that seems more beneficial to me from like a medical professional than just you know sh you know uh, chit-chatting with a friend about it um and getting you know the kind of basic advice from a friend like that i think that's really like the core of what i'm looking for what is your academic training in what's your degree in um i have a bachelor of science in communication okay because you're you completely i'm thinking you need to give therapy uh, yeah yeah <laughs> After, you got this so wrapped well, up you. i mean it's, uh, you sound like somebody does this for a living right well, thank you I, to be fair i have a lot of good friends in my life who have given me a lot of good advice it's just not getting me what i need out of it you know so that's why well, I, I mean you, you really are able to articulate it at an amazing level right thank uh, you so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you two hard things uh, and you can disagree with me and you can say deloney i think you're an idiot and i'll say hey you got what you paid for. So the first thing is this. You're going to have to decide. You're going to have to look in the mirror, put both hands on your bathroom counter, and you're going to have to look in the mirror. And you're going to have to say, Lori, I'm moving on. And I'm going to not make anxiety. I'm not going to make trust issues my identity. I'm not going to make that who I am. I am going to become X. And then you're going to have to get somebody in your life to walk alongside you. And you can pay for that. There's a million people out there that will take your money. As Dave pointed out, you are articulate. You are smart. You're going to have to decide that this is an identity because this isn't a task thing. This isn't a series of skills things. You know those skills. You know how to breathe through when you get anxious. You know how to call somebody who's close to you when the alarms are going off. You know those things. And so if you want to pay somebody to go do that, that's going to be part two of this question. You make 72000 bucks a year. If you need to invest in your mental health, it's foolish and Absolutely. silly not to. Absolutely. Here here, here, John, let me ask you about this and see if, uh, Lori, I, I'm just playing, I'm learning here. Um, in my mind, I, I worry about, um, not Lori as much, but just in general, that sometimes people like, they just want to hang out with a counselor and they just go year after year after year after year and don't seem to get any better. Yes. And uh, so if I were Lori, I would say, okay, I'm going to budget 10 sessions and I'm going to be done. Right. 
But the goal being that I've got the rest of the tools in my belt to be done. Right. And you're or gonna, I'm going to budget whatever number of sessions. But it's not, it's not, this is not, you don't want to do this year after year after year after year. No. It, 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 right. So, yeah, Lori, you're going to go to a, a counselor and you're going to say, or you're going to go to a psychologist, you're going to find a marriage and family therapist, and you're going to say, here's the deal. I know exactly what it is. I know here's the challenges. You got 10 sessions to walk me out. That's exactly right. And or I whatever. want you a make up series of tasks and skills that you're going to teach me. We're going to, we're going to do this together and then I'm out. And if they say, well, you know, then you go to the next yeah. counselor. Yeah. And there's a, there's going to be somebody who's well, yeah, ethical. You, know, I have to, you have to go back to the chiropractor every month for the rest of my life. You no, don't. thank you. You don't. You're supposed to freaking <laughs> heal me. That's right. <laughs> and healing is both cracking my back and teaching me the stretches and the strength building tools yeah. that I don't have to see you again. Yeah. So the greatest counselor I ever went to when I sat down, her first statement to me is, my goal with you is to work myself out of a job. There you go. And I said, that's, that's, that's what the I'm person after. I want to see. That's, that's right. what I'm after. And, and it, yeah, this is uh, because the thing is, there's always going to be pain associated with this past event. It always. just should be diminishing and it should be that you have the tools to work it. And that's what your community should be for. Yeah. So make sure you're plugged into a good church as well. And maybe get a lady that's 10 years older than you, 20 years older than you, that's as articulate and bright as you are to talk this through with as well. But yeah, I think I would go. But I would just put a limit on it and say, this is we're going to be done after this. Right. And in your own mind, and certainly in the mind of the council. In- that- investing in your heart is never a bad ROI. Exactly. Exactly.